Students, today we are solving Oxford Math Entrance Examination and today is the second part of it. So in this case it is said that in the interval 0 less than x less than 360 is the equation and sin qx plus cos square x equal to 0. So how many solutions this system has? So it is given that sin square x plus square x equal to 0. So the equation becomes a little bit changed. So one is a Q, another one is a square. That is the main problem over here. So sine QX plus one minus sine square X we can do at the place of cos square X that is equal to zero as well. So the cubic form, if we write S equal to sine X, so S Q minus S square plus one. Okay, this equal to, this will be equal to 1 at s equal to minus 1 and this equal to 1 at s equal to 0 as well. And this equal to 1 at s equal to 1. So minus 1, 1 and these three values. So the turning point is R at s equal to 0 and s equal to, if you just solve it, 2 by 3. So the value at 2 by 3 is... If we take this as fx, 2 by 3 is 23 by 27, so which is positive again. So the cubic has only possible one root if we just draw it. And that is negative. So it has a negative root. And so the answer to this question is... So there are, in this particular range, only one negative and one positive. So there are two solutions in this range. So C is the answer. After F, let's go to G. There are three, three equations are given. So you need to specify A, B, C uniquely. So whether they are associated with each other or not. So let me draw the diagram here. Okay, so this is the axis of A and this is maybe the axis of B. Uh, so now if we erase each side of the second equation to the power C, then B equal to from the second equation, B equal to B to the power C square plus 3C by 2. So we must have 1 equal to C square plus 3C by 2 since B greater than 1. Now this has solutions c equal to minus 2 or c equal to minus half. If these two are the solutions, so now uh, we already have c greater than 0. So obviously c equal to half is the solution. So the remaining equation a equal to b square and a equal to 2 to the power minus b. So these two are here. So they are exactly one positive solution. So the answer to the question is unique solution or one positive a. H. The triangle ABC is the right angle at b and the side lengths are positive numbers in the geometric progression. So if it follows that then BAC is either of which of the following. So the this is about the hypotenuse uh, is the longest side we know. So let's write uh, it as the hypotenuse equal to a r square. Well, a is positive, the shortest side and uh, r greater than 1. So the remaining side must be a r and uh, for the sides of in the in the a comma a r in the geometric progression. So now then the pi Pythagorean theorem 1 plus r square plus r 4 is true. So solving the quadratic for r square, we get r square equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2. So taking these values, root to be positive, that's r square is positive. So at r greater than 0, root over 1 plus root 5 by 2. So this tan BAC or either r equal to 1 by r, which of the following are in A and C. So finally, 
this could be the possible answer c is the answer next the positive real numbers x and y satisfying these two equations so both x and 2 to the power x are strictly increasing and the product of them is also strictly increasing so x into 2 to the power x is therefore takes no values for which x is positive so therefore no solution here in the given equation with 0 less x less y so it is not possible so the answer to this question is no pairs of x and y the last question for this part is the jth part an equilateral triangle has center 0 and the side length 1 the straight line through o intersect the triangle at two distinct points p and q the minimum possible length of pq okay so let theta be the angle so an equilateral triangle we have like this and o is the center of the triangle each length is 1 a straight line through o intersect the triangle at two points p and q the minimum possible length of pq so let theta is the angle which it makes with the axis angle the line makes with axis angle and axis angle angle and x axis line and the x axis so f of minus theta equal to f of theta because the triangle has reflectional symmetry in the x axis okay so now due to reflectional symmetry so the function therefore has a stationary value um, theta equal to zero so the function is also periodic with the period of pi by three so combining these facts we see that f theta must take a stationary value halfway f theta is taking a stationary value halfway with respect to so theta equal to 30 degree so this is parallel to one of the sides so pq is in this figure is 2 by 3 so the answer is t